Welcome back. There is a spot in Christmas which has given many teenagers their first job over the last six decades. As the food keeps coming out as delicious as ever, the stories keep being told and the memories are shared. Here's a look at one tape place in Christmas that is keeping family close and the recipes even closer. Check out more as I go on the road for Our Town Christmas. Welcome to Riggins Froth Up. Just off Route 1 in Christmas sits a family food stand that has been serving customers for generations. Uh, I think we were born in here. <laughs> uh, I, when my mom first started working in here, I was five. I'm 73 now. For David and Sue, it's important to carry on the legacy and tradition their mom first started at the Frost Stop. She was just the queen, and everybody knew her. Uh, this was my mom's life, my dad's life. They passed it on to my brother and I. The love their mother gave to her family, her employees, and her customers has inspired them to keep going for generations to come. My dad would come in at lunch time and help her, but she ran this whole thing by herself. She was a tiger. Absolute tiger. We miss her a lot. <laughs> the two of them have kids and grandkids who have all worked at the restaurant and who they also hope to pass it down to. Since 1961, it's been Riggins Frost Stop and hope to keep it the same. At Riggins Frost Stop and Christmas, you can walk up to the window to order or they'll bring your order to the car, whether it's fresh root beer, sandwiches, or more. Kids serving as car hops have also brought so much to the Frost Stop, including some of their most popular menu items. We had one boy. Name's Guthrie Gardner. He invented two sandwiches while he worked here in high school. One was called the Shut Up because it was hot and had a hot sauce on it, and people would take a bite of it and go, Oh, shut up, that's hot. And the other one was G Wiz. Somebody called the other day and uh, she said, My husband wants one of those. Shut your mouth. <laughs> And then there's the root beer. We make our own root beer. We have this big vat, put the water in, and then the bottle of above, and then we turn it into root beer. It's the same same recipe we've had for 60 years, and we don't give it to anybody unless you marry into the family. <laughs> Whether it's a frosted mug filled with a homemade root beer float or a delicious sandwich, this place has been serving Christmas for generations. Mm. Now, their mom, Marina, she's worked at the Frost Stop until she was 90. Oh. Wow. So yeah, great story there. Uh, the root beer recipe also, it's a closely guarded secret, but Sue told me on an average, they go through 175 gallons a week. A week? I was going to say, if you weren't already married, you can marry into the family yeah, and get the right. recipe. Uh, there's some, <laughs> she was trying to, she was telling me all about her granddaughters, too. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you what, tomorrow there's going to be plenty of root beer there. So, uh, get a root beer yeah. float. Uh, great place to stop, too, with our town, Christmas. Tomorrow from 4 to 7, we'll be at the park. All right, Jacob, thanks.